Howdy, 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 hey. I'll wait for you all to come on in. Make sure I'm plugged in. I see eyeballs. Who do I see first? Let's see. Who shall it be? I need to whip out my magic mirror again, right? Who's on here? Shannon Curtis. Jet, some happy mail, sister. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Christine. What's going on, Vicki? Thank y'all for sparkling it away. Sparkle Chick is here. Happy Monday, everyone. I, what a great day. I wish every Monday was this productive. I've got so much stuff done today. I've done like five loads of laundry. It's amazing what you can accomplish when you have a bunch of people come into your house, right? Hey, thank you, Patty. Hi, Kay. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Lorraine. What's up, Judy Davis is in the house. Hi, Nancy. Anyway, guys, I wasn't sure I was going to come on here with you today, but I had to. I've got a couple hours. My house is clean. My laundry's done. This, everything's at the store. We're having a little pizza party tonight, and I'm good to go. Hey, Rola. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Jacqueline. Hey, Ruby and Lola from Oklahoma. Anybody in Florida, I'm praying for y'all. I have friends and family down there. Hi, Rima. Hey, Vicki. That's down in Florida right now. And boy, it looks like a super nasty storm, so I'm hoping you guys all stay safe. At the Home Depot. Brula, yeah, I heard like toilet paper, gas is out. Like, guys, stay safe. I don't know. When is it supposed to hit landfall? Does anybody know? I've been watching it. We have a house in Sanibel. My in-laws have a house in Fort Myers. So, hey, Kay. Hey, Carolyn. So, did you guys all enjoy the Hocus Pocus event yesterday? Give me some hearts and thumbs up if you guys really enjoyed it. I thought it was an amazing event. Um, just what you just watched my story true story that's a true story Kay. um thank you really yeah yesterday was a lot a lot of fun i thought everybody oh my gosh chris at the end cracked me up and justin and debbie everybody looked amazing thank you tammy i guys i had to wear yellow today look at i got my sunflower jeans on and i whipped out my yellow shirt i got this at the goodwill this year last year i don't know um you're welcome, Kathy. Hey, Kathy Spang. So yeah, I went with yellow, feeling a little fall. It's like 60 degrees. It's been storming and raining off and on. Thank you, Sue. Yellow is my one of my two favorite top colors. Hot pink and yellow are my favorite colors. Wednesday to Thursday. Okay, Sissy, you're in Central Florida. Well, I hope I have a friend that lives in Northport, and I think she's on the outskirts. But my sister-in-law's in Fort Myers. Uh, my in-laws have a house in Fort Myers. We have a house on Sanibel Island. Um, you watched all day yesterday, Carol. That's awesome. That's what replays are awesome for. Thank you, Vicki, for the stars. Hey, Vinny. Hey, Cindy. So anyway, guys, I, my son Jack asked me yesterday, when are you going to start decorating for Halloween? Halloween's big around here in my house. We love Halloween. I did post a video a, a, week, a week ago. That's of my house last year. So I will, I still have to decorate this year. Um, if you guys liked my jeans, they're on my Amazon store. Oh, I forgot to pin my link tree. Uh, which you can find in my link tree. Um, hey, Lisa. So, yeah, we're having my family over. Mike's family's over tonight. We have eight birthdays in our family in September, so I'm just having a pizza party. Um, what did you use on the edging of the orange pumpkin behind you? Jute, like big, heavy, nautical jute rope. And the other one, the black and white one, is behind there, too. There's two of them. See? And then the other one, um, that I just did the half inch wood beads. Hey, Lisa, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the event. Uh, thank you, Ma Maya. Hey, can you make more hot glue molds? I can show you. Maybe we'll do one today. Um, Costco had 700. I believe it. Uh, Betty, Jack is doing amazing. Um, He's still wearing a sling, but he had his stitches removed. He's got some stary tape on there or something. Those are slowly falling off. Um, I didn't see your jeans. Guys, got to go check them out. Amazon. I have these linked on my Amazon store. I do have them rolled up, but they even have sunflowers down there. I just was wearing little tennies today, so I rolled them up because it's still not fall, winter, so I feel like I could get away with it. Hey, Farah, thank you for the stars. Yeah, Chris was a hoot. Oh my gosh, she didn't even look like Chris. The teeth and everything. I had a, it was amazing. Thank you, Rula. 
Estera writes that. Oh, Estera, Estera was right. We go through there all the time when we're in uh, Fort Myers, when we're at Sanibel. Justin looked amazing. Everybody looked so amazing. Dina, everybody looked. Beth and Debbie, Terry. Uh, Justin and Chris won the prize for best. <laughs> right? Amazing. Like, Chris pulled it out. I can't wait for next month when we're not in um, Oklahoma. Uh, penny paint to do my tray. Yay, your paint, Pinksy paint, Gail. I got the troll. Okay. Hello, Isabel. I do not speak French, but welcome. I know what bonjour means. Bonjour, bonjour. Um, you made sunflower. That's what I should do. That's that would be fun. Anyhow, so we're going to make a little pirate sign. I was at the Hobby Lobby the other day, and I picked up this cute little sign. Because, you know, I'm all in pirate mode right now, getting ready for our event in Oklahoma. Me and Mike are pirates. Um, so, I'm going to use this. Hobby Lobby had these. Can you believe it? They usually don't have stuff like this, but they have a whole pirate section by the mermaid section. And um, got this. And then yesterday, during the event, I was watching and shopping. I had to take Jack to the mall yesterday. Um, we had to pick up his homecoming suit. So he has homecoming on Saturday. So I had to go pick that up. We went shopping. And I saw those boots, y'all. And I was like, you know what? We have a sparkle conference coming up. I'm going to grab them. They were only like 70 bucks, I think. But I was like, I'm, I deserve it. I have to go back, though, because as I was walking out, they had a matching jean jacket the same color. Those boots are so amazing. Oh my gosh, right, Bobby? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, what a great event. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, so I have that cute little Hobby Lobby sign. And what I'm going to do is I bought this at the Goodwill. It's just, a, it's a sign. It's got a Bible verse on it. And I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a Christian, but I got to paint over it. Okay, because it looks kind of, I like the end. It's kind of just a beat up sign. It's got Psalm 116 verse 2 on there because he bends down to listen. I will pray as long as I have breath. So I'm going to paint over it. So this will be like a little blessed sign because it will be, you know, how people write under the paint on their walls when they build a ho home. Um, oh, thank you, Yvonne. Yeah, my boots, guys. So I had a hater. <laughs> she sent me a puke face, right? Um, after I posted it, so I wrote back, and she's not like one of the chicks, right? So I was like, um, obviously, then you're not a sparkle chick, and and then she wrote back, guess not, with the, like a sourpuss face, so then she got the big BBD, because I don't need that kind of, neg we don't need that negativity here. Look, you don't have to like sparkle as much as I do. Uh, Betty, go to my stories. I did a story on them. They're amazing. Um... And guys, I just say it because a lot of people were messaging me about how um, I'm going to, you know, be hurting. I can wear high heels like a rock star. Just saying. I did ballroom dancing for years. I can wear high heels like, you know, like a champ. So, and, you know, being that I don't wear them like eight, nine hours a day. You know, when we go to dinner or whatever, I wear them. So, yes, I always tell Mike, like, I'm like, me and Mike are the same height. And I was like, uh, do you care if I'm wearing like four inch stilettos? He's like, no, you're worth the climb. So that's my husband's answer. Uh, I love the sparkle too. Yeah, they were, they were great boots. So anyway, what my plan is, we're going to paint this to look like wood. Okay. Um, paint it to look like wood. And I only have about an hour to stay on with you guys because I've got pizzas being delivered at six my time. So I'm glad I just got to come on and hang out with you for a little bit. Ha, thank you, Lisa. Yeah, people are rude. And I was just like, whatever. And so I said, I wasn't being mean. I was like, well, then I guess you're not a sparkle chick. You could leave there and paint. I can't paint the other side because it's got like nails, rusty nails. It's got this screwed into there. I don't want to mess with it. So it's just going to be a little, you know, blessing underneath our pirate sign. So I am going to use, um, you know, to kind of get that wood look. Is what I'm going for. I'm going to use some paint, pixie paint. No, I'm going to use the Onyx. This is dark black paint. Oh, Lorraine, yeah. He says, you're worth the climb. And I was like, good. 
And then I'm going to use a little bit of this metallic paint uh, from Paint Pixie. I kind of want to make the wood, you know, a little bit like this. I'm not really going to do much to this guy because I like the way it looks. Thank you. Yes, my husband got me that for my birthday. And then I'm going to blend these two together. I don't think I'm going to add any brown or gold. Maybe just a little bit of the liquid gold. Uh, Christine, I am five foot seven. Five foot seven. Mike is five foot, maybe six and a half. But, um, yeah, we're about the same height. Although I have long legs. So when we stand next to each other, it's funny because we're the same height pretty much. But I'm all legs and I have a shorter torso, longer legs. He's got short legs and a longer torso. So it's kind of funny. But we make it work. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more black. Hey, Anita. Yeah, you guys, Gloria, be careful. I've been watching it because, you know, I have family and friends down in Florida and all of you guys, uh, lots of you guys. So I'm paying attention. Not only that, I'm going to be, you know, we're going to be flying to Oklahoma. So I'm hoping that uh, everything stays calm and that it doesn't do a lot of damage. I'm praying for you, though, guys. Um, I think this is a good color. Well, we'll try this. See how pretty that looks? Hey, Sheila. The Sparkle Boots, Lene, they are on my... Hey, Pam, welcome. New Sparkle Chick in the house. Um, can you guys see what I'm doing? Um, you can find my... Uh, oh, yeah, look, it's almost the same color as the wood. Am I good or am I good, y'all? Um, it's... Gosh, what was I going to say? Um, the boots are on my story. They should still be there. Stories stay up for 24 hours, so it should still be there. Guys, seriously, this paint is, oh, I almost mixed it. Do I have talent or do I have talent? Look at that. It's almost the same color as the wood. Kimberly, stay safe, sister. I'll be checking in with you guys. I expect, you know, updates, and I know, I'm hoping you guys don't lose power in all that whole nine yards. I really hope that um, it's okay. I remember watching one last year, or was it the year before, when one rolled through Sanibel and the west coast of Florida. It's pretty crazy watching it. I was watching, there was a camera on the Sanibel Bridge, so I was watching the live feed of that. Yeah, I'm kind of one of those stalkerish people when there's stuff going on. Thank you, Sharon. You guys can find my jeans on Amazon. I got them on Amazon. They're so adorable. My husband's not too crazy about him. He's like, what's up with the jeans? And I was like, what's up with your jeans? No, kidding. I didn't say that. I wouldn't talk to my husband like that. But he was like, what's up with the jeans? I'm like, you don't like my jeans. I don't think he's a fan of the sunflower jeans, but that's okay. He's a fan of me. So that's it. So um, again, this sign came from the Goodwill. You guys, when you go to the Goodwill or you're out thrifting, look for little signs like this. Because even if you don't like what they say or the color or whatever. Now, I love the saying on this one. However, um, I needed it to, to be different. But it's got the same, the shape that I like. No power for two weeks. Oh, my God. Little shrimp, Lori. I go to Lori, my girlfriend, one of my best girlfriends lives in Northport. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine going through that, Janet. Well, Janet, I'm not going to send your pumpkin then, Janet, because I have it ready. I'm not going to send it then. Do you think I should wait? Hey, Colleen. Um, I do wear my jean jacket a lot. Lately, I've been doing the French tuck, Leslie. I don't know, because I like it. And, uh, I don't know. But sometimes, I don't know, it just depends on the shirt. So I'm going to go over the middle of this just a little bit, because I can still see a little bit of those letters. Um, and I kind of, maybe I should have sanded it just a little bit, but I think paint will do. So I'm going to go over this with a little bit of white because I want to give it that wood look. I'm just trying to cover up 
might have to give this another coat after this. Okay. No, can you imagine if you didn't, if you didn't get warnings? Yeah, big, t big prayers coming, Julie, because I've been watching it. I don't know what it's going to be like after. My sister-in-law is supposed to be coming up here on Friday. I'm hoping she can make it. My brother-in-law and his wife were there, and they were supposed to come home, I think, Friday, but I think they came home today or yesterday. Oh, uh, Lori, I don't know where Jack... Is it you talking about Jacksonville? Off the shoulder sweater on the top. Oh, isn't that a great sweater, Marianne? Terry, you missed it. Am I going to keep standing up for you? I got sunflower jeans on with a little bit of animal prints. They're cute, right? Hey, what's up? Catherine Salvage is in the house. Catherine, that's Digital Deco Designs, everyone. You know, that fabulous lamp that I just... Back there, that's Digital Deco Designs. Catherine, I gotta call you. I have stuff running through my brain I wanna talk to you about. I just, it's been so flippin' busy, y'all. I, I, I barely get time to pee, I swear. True story. Sometimes, you know, I have to force myself because I'm just, I don't wanna take the time to do it. All right, so I think this is good. My, my bath, my, my, Brush bathtub is getting full again. You guys better start getting me, sending me reminders. Hey, Josie. And they're comfortable too. They're like a boyfriend cut, so they're bag. I don't like tight clothes, so. Yeah, go on my Amazon store. They're linked on there. They're really cute. All right. So these two colors I did was Paint Pixie in the Onyx. It's a metallic paint onyx, and then I use metallic paint New Penny, and I added a little bit of the metallic um, 24 karat gold, and this is the finish that we got, and I think it looks perfect. I am going to dry brush a little bit of white on there. See how we covered up that sign, but it still kind of looks like wood, even though it's got a little bit of a metal metallic finish, but that's okay, because I like metallic finishes. Yes, my Amazon store, yes. Amazon Josie go to my link tree and click on my Amazon store go to fashion and they're linked in there it's Exactly Lori always got to be prepared That's my favorite do they have spent no these definitely do not have Well No, if they do it's a little bit Oh Janet just ordered some digital deco designs. I feel all sucked in loose clothing Oh my gosh, Kathy, I feel the exact same way. I feel like when I have tight clothes on, like you can see all my my, um, my squishy parts. I don't want that. So I don't, I hide it. I'm just the opposite. I can't keep up. Oh, cute. I know it is out there, but. Ah, uh, thank you, Carol. And the, I miss paint on the top corner. No, I didn't. Oh, right there. That's all right. That's going to be at the top anyway. You'll never see it. Uh, Judy Blue. Oh, I love I have a couple pairs of Judy Blues. Yes. Um, I think they run true to size. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, I actually had the size down on these. I had to return the first pair because they were swimming on me. So I think I ordered. I, wait a minute. Here, I'll just tell you what I ordered. Just, But I know I got to do the Halo, the Halo video. Um, where's my Amazon? More orders. What? Oh, um, let's see. I think I ordered, I ordered, I'm going to tell you right now, Evelyn, if the pants are true, so I got to go look back and see my order because I had to return the first pair I got because they were too big. Um, okay, so the first time, oh, Lisa, what are you doing? Um, 
I or it doesn't tell me what size I ordered. I ordered a medium. I ordered a medium. And I had to return them to get the smalls. So they did run a little bit big for me. But so that's just me though. Hey Jenny, what's going on? I have to have a long top to cover my butt. If I yeah, well, that's another good thing because I like the French top because it covers all that. Um, all right, so we have this. I'm gonna grab another paper plate and I am going to. Oh, and I will post the picture of my pumpkin from yesterday and my uh, hocus pocus thing. Um, when I go downstairs. So I'm gonna use some paint, pixie paint and just this marshmallow color. And I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm just going to like dry brush it. Hey Donna, what's up? All right, so I'm just taking a little bit of this like white paint from Paint Pixie. I'm gonna offload some of it onto a paper towel and I'm just gonna start at one end and I just wanna give it like just a little bit. I think, I don't know, maybe I'm not gonna like this. All right, so we got a little bit of white on there. Okay, I like it, but I think we're also gonna need a little bit of black too. So I'm gonna use just regular, is that black? Or is that gray? Yep. I'm gonna use like some plain black paint. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna dip it in that black. I'm gonna offload it on a paper towel, and then I'm just gonna do it again. I know I should, Marion, right? That's what I should do. So this looks gray, but I wanna kinda look like weathered wood. I might actually need to get like a darker black. Okay, so dip, dip. I'm gonna keep it out of that white and go over it with some dark. I want it to look like it just came off of a ship. So see how I just kind of like streaked it? You can still see that metallic underneath there, but it just kind of gives it just that old kind of rusty beat up look. Now that might've been a little bit too heavy. Gosh, dang nabbit. I'll have to go in with a little bit white there to tone that down. Okay. So see, it just give it a funky, give it whatever kind of look you want. Needs, what's a barnacle, Angie? I mean, I know what a barnacle is, but I don't know if I really know what you're talking about. A barnacle. I am going to hit it with a sanding block just to scuff it up even more. Because why not? Nicely weathered, yeah. Now, I'm going to do the sides. A little bit here. I just don't want any of those words to come through. where I hit it a little light. Okay, I think that looks good. See, it's just kind of weathered. I almost think it needs, maybe, maybe I need to grab my paintbrush. Let me put a little bit more of that brown on there. This is gonna be a quick, easy sign. And then we are gonna seal this. I do wanna seal this with, uh, and that'll really bring out all those colors too. You could just kind of put it where you want it. Can you see it? I kinda like it. It's good enough, right? Just make a cute little sign. Guy testing sprinklers. Right? Where do you live at, Lisa? Or no, Lori. Thank you, Marion, for the stars. The critters that cling to the... Oh, yeah. I don't have any of those. All right. What were they called? 
Now they ran big for me, but you know, that doesn't mean they may not run big for you. Okay, so now I am gonna hit this with a little bit of, I'm gonna use, this is shiny. This has kind of a shiny finish, so I'm gonna use my triple thick Dur Clear Mix. Let's just do it. Hey Tracy, you fell asleep? That's all right, sometimes we all need some naps. I'm using a little bit of triple thick Dur Clear. It's three parts triple thick, two parts, or one part Dur Clear. Um, and I'm just going to, now let's see, you guys will be able to see, it'll really bring out the detail. I love putting a sealer. I love putting sealers on top of paint. It almost like just brings it to life. I'm not going to worry about doing the sides. See the difference? So it's more flat and you, it'll still keep that metallic color that we use in everything. And I make a bunch of triple thick Dur Clear mix and then I just stick it into these little bottles and it works great. And you just brush it on, it dries super quick. But triple thick is like super, super thick and hard to work with, so that's why you mix it with the DuraClear. And your project will be, now if you're gonna hang this outside, I've never tried it, but Debbie uh, Rigg at Studio MDAZ, she swears by engine enamel for projects that are gonna be used outside. So keep that in mind if you're doing anything that's going to be outside, use engine enamel. Right, Deborah? I love that, I love those pumpkins too. I'm good, Tammy, how are you? Uh, Sherry, triple thick mix, paint pixies in the house. Hello, Josie. A uh, triple thick mix is three parts triple thick, two part, one part DuraClear. All right, so as you can see, it dries really clear, really quick. Josie, we have your paint pixie paints on here, looking so pretty. We just sealed down the paint. I love the paint pixie metallics. Uh, mixture ratio, triple thick. Just remember triple is three. So three parts triple thick to one part DuraClear. Uh, Mary, a good primer for glass is spray paint. Spray paint always works good on glass. Spray paint or uh, um, Dixie Bell's Slick Stick. Uh, Donna, I have live sales auctions on my items. I need to have another one because it's getting kind of heavy back here. Um, Anna, my heat gun I found on Amazon. I have that linked in my Amazon store. Um, Josie, I just got it. To, well, it's here. I, and Josie, I have to show you guys at the end. Josie was a gem. Josie, I'm in love with that pixie Play-Doh. Um, if we've got time for Happy Mail, I'll, I'll do it today. But I got some Happy Mail from Paint Pixie. I think, Josie, I do have the new paints there in a box down there. I was so excited I opened up the transfers first. Not on a live. Sorry, guys. Hey, Nancy. Thank you guys for sparkling. Hey, Janice. So we have this. Okay, so this is the top. Look at how cute that is. Yes, we covered up this thing. I just kind of mixed in all those metallics. Now I'm going to take my little pirate sign here from Hobby Lobby. This did come from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to peel the sticker off. I'm going to peel the sticker off. You don't want to glue anything onto paper like that because it will like peel right off. It's weird. It's happened to me before. So I'd like to take all the stickers off as best as I can. I don't, I'm not going to be real clean with this one, but I want the majority of it off like so. I am going to take this little hanger off because we don't need it. So I'm just going to unscrew it. And I will give you a little tip. I will keep the hanger because you can always end up using it on another project that you might require it for. Hey, Kristen. Um, it depends on what each item costs. It just depends on what I put in it. Like, I shop a lot at the Goodwill, 
this sign was like seven dollars you know but that's why i try to give you guys like you know uh home decor for less just by going to your thrift stores hey sandy uh, you can get the triple thick at uh, Home Hobby Lobby, um, Duraclear, Michaels. That's Duraclear. I don't have any triple thick. Yes, I do. This is what triple thick looks like. Um, it's from Deco Art. Um, Duraclear is from Deco Art, and uh, Deco Art, one of our sponsors, um, an amazing sponsor for our event. And um, yeah, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, they all have it. All right, so what my goal here is, is to just stick this guy right in the center here. I am gonna use E6000 and some hot glue. Um, I'm gonna go to the hat to the chin. So see how I kind of need to know where I'm gonna keep that. Hat to the chin to the top of the swords. So I'm gonna use some of that, all of this. Yep. And I use both because that's going to, one will allow for the permanent, that, that, but you don't want to put your hot glue where your um, E6000 is. It won't stick. So I'm just going to, I'm going to stand up and eyeball this. And I'm going to put it down like right there. Press down and see how that, that um, the hot glue will work like right now and then eventually that E6000 will take over. Lori, yes, you should reach out to Josie. Yes, Paint Pixie, we got some amazing door prizes. Paint Pixie was amazing and donated. We have lots of door prizes from Paint Pixie. We've got Vintage Retail Therapy. We have so much stuff, guys. Uh, if you guys don't have your tickets for the event, there's still some left. Click my link and go get them. Hey, Tawny, what's up? Oh my God, show me your jeans again. Guys, I've stood up like five times to show you my jeans. All right, here you go. There's Sunflower Leopard. So cute. You even got one on your butt. Okay. So this should be on there. The hot glue will work. That E6000 will take over. Gosh, seriously, that is so cute, isn't it? Look at how cute. All right, so now I wanna make it look like a sign. So um, I know I'm so excited, Josie. Now I wanna add a little bit of stuff to the sides. And here is where I was thinking. Kinda, I wanted like metal strapping. So the only thing I really had was like this decorative metal ribbon from Hobby Lobby. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it y'all. We're going to cut it straight across like so. You can cut it. And all I want to do is measure it out and I'm going to put like that strapping down on each side. Okay. So I'm going to measure it out on this side and then I know I'm going to cut right there. Okay. So that one, of course, I can bring my glasses up here and we'll see if this, if I can get it directly straight across. Now this stuff is sharp. You guys be careful, but Hobby Lobby has that. I'm going to straighten that out. And what I want to do is just lay it on the sides. That's a little long. I'm, well, not really. No, that's perfect. See, so I'm going to do one on each side. So all I'm going to do is lay this down with some hot glue. Okay. And I'm not gonna use a lot, just like a thin bead here. I don't really wanna do it down the middle. Cause I don't want any glue to like come up and I'm just going to place it at the top there and then just kind of run it. All the way down oh my gosh so see you'll see where I'm going in a minute and that look cute oh my god my glasses are in my head I forgot I had them on yay thank you 
Yeah, I wish you guys had, I wish I could hear your voices. I can only hear you. All right, so I'm just going to measure out this one, and I'm going to try to give it the same kind of width on each side. I don't know if it will be perfect. And then I'm going to cut this one like right here. Okay. It's amazing what you can do and you can see. So now I just want to hold it up. I don't need my glasses now. I want to hold it up and see about where I want to put this one. I think it's going to go right there. I want it to be kind of the same. I think that looks good. See how cute that's going to be? All right, so I am going to mark that off just so I know because I want it to be right. Okay, so I'm just going to use my little, I'm just going to do a pen. All right, nobody will ever see that. I look for my phone when I'm on it, y'all. Yeah, seriously. All right, so again, I'm just going right down the sides. I don't want to go into the middle because I don't want anything to squeeze out. I want this to stay on there. I'm going to match that up. And press that down. Tell me that's not cute, y'all. It's really cute. Now, it's a little, like, the ribbon is fancy, right? Okay? So I don't want that to be, like, fancy. So I'm going to take some, um, where is it? I'm going to take some uh, silver leaf rub and buff and I want to fill in kind of all of this like lacy, I guess is what it is, kind of looks like lace here on that metal ribbon. And I'm just going to squeeze a bunch of this out, if it will let me. Okay, I think that's enough. And I'm just going to grab a small brush and I'm just going to take my, my my silver rub and buff, I need my glasses on, Arr, right? And I'm just going to fill in like that to make it look more, I don't know, you know, like solid. And that rub and buff, it's almost the exact same tone as, um, as the metal ribbon. So I'm not like, you don't have to sit there and go over the whole entire ribbon. I'm just really pouncing all that inside to so see the difference. See how it's filling it in rather than looking all lacy. I want it more solid and you'll see why in a second what I'm going to do because I have plans for this little ribbon. And I want it to be silver because I want it to match what's going on with the pirate. All right, so there's one, and you can see the difference, but it matches almost perfectly. See? Solid, not solid. You can still see the design. Candy, oh, you're so funny. No, I do it all the time. I literally, like, was all day one day, like, I, I think I was talking to Chris Hunter. And I was like, what the heck? And she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I can't find my phone, like, anywhere. And she's like, she started cracking. I think it was Chris Hunter. If not, it was somebody, and she was like, oh my God, Kathy, you're on it. And I was like, oh my word, you're kidding. Yeah. I'm a scuttle brain, a scatter brain. Okay. So I'm just filling in all these little holes with my uh, silver rub and buff. Dry super quick. And then we're going to finish this off, add some bling, and we're done. And look at that. Still had time to spare. I put, oh, I, you put my keys. Yeah, I'm really good about, like, leaving my keys. Like, as soon as I get home, they go right on the counter by the garage door. I'm really good about stuff like that. But when it comes to anything else, my keys, or my 
glasses. I'm always losing my glasses. All right, so I am going to take and get rid of all of that because I don't want it to be sticking my hands in it. Oh, gosh, Deborah, I'm praying for you, sister. I know that's scary. It's, oh, my gosh, guys, it is so dark here right now. It's really storming here today, too. You're gonna, I'm probably going to have to take Rocky downstairs. Um, okay, so we have that. I'm going to give it some heat. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's pouring rain now. Let's see what the forecast is showing. Ain't nothing like what Florida is getting, but we're getting a bunch of wonky weather. Like, fall is definitely here. Uh, let's see. I think it's supposed to storm. I don't know what's going on with my internet. Flood watch issued for home. That's nice. Yeah, it's not giving my radar up, but I know. Rocky will be freaking out in a minute. And I'm wearing, yeah, hey, Opa. Bracelet by your watch, where is it from? Um, I think one of my sparkle chicks sent me this. Oh my gosh, guys, I just realized I don't have the bracelet that Mike got me on. <gasps> no. I don't ever take that off. I'm pretty sure I had it on today. I hope I didn't lose it in the store. Shelly says the sun is out in Utah. Can, you can hear the rain? Man, it's like a monsoon. I don't know what's going on with my weather app. I can't see it. I'd like to, oh, it's just a little thunderstorm, yeah. Flood watch. See, that's, I'm the little blue dot there. And this is what's coming, like right there, yeah. So it's about to hit us. So it's gonna get ugly. And Rocky's probably, oh, a special weather statement. Oh yeah, we might lose our pyre too. Let's hurry up and finish this craft. I know, I don't even know, I'm gonna have to look. I mean, I was doing so much stuff today. I hope I didn't lose it. I, I wanna call, I was a giant eagle. Um, all right, let's finish this, guys, so I can search my house. For, I will be so bummed if I lost that. You don't even understand. I'll check my car, too, Jenny. All right, so we have this all painted. Now, I wanted to give it, like, gold rivets, you know? Check your bed and floor for bracelet. I did hear something fall in here. I'm going to check everything. I know I had it on when I was in the car. I'm almost positive. I never take that off, even when I shower. I'm going to look in my car. Sun is shining in Kansas City. I hope not either, Linda. I'll be bummed. Okay, so now, you know what I want to do? Um, I want to do little blue dots here. So I have, it should be the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I think what I want to do is do like every other one. So I'm just going to go right over these little flower things here. And I'm just going to do like one glue dot, right? And what I like to do so I know that they're even, I'm going to do another one down here at the very opposite end. Okay? And I'm hoping they look all right, being that they're going on this weird thing. And then I'm going to do one right in the, I'm going to try to pick out the center. Like that. And then I'm going to do the, find the center of that. Yeah, I'm going to check there too. I, I will call the grocery store. That's the only place I, was, I got out of my car. Oh, and I did go into the dry cleaners too. Okay, so I did five glue dots. Those are perfect looking. They might get a little janky because of the shape of the ribbon, but I don't care. It's not magnetic, it's on a, you push it together and it's got the little lock, so I'm hoping that it just slipped off. 
And I'm going to cry. I will be so bummed. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put down a drop. My glue is, I have to grab my other glue gun. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side down here. And then I'm going to do one in the middle. And then in the middle of those two. And then you give it a little swirl at the ends to avoid that little peak part. All right, now we just gotta let these dry. So sometimes you could take like a little fan and just give it, you know, I know, pray to St. Anthony, yes, please help me. I just realized that, what a bummer. I will cry, I really would. I did get out of my car when I got gas. I got out of my car when I went to the dry cleaners to drop off some stuff. Jack's pants needed pressed and all that. And then I got out of the car at Giant Eagle. I'm trying to remember, and that's it. But I was like in my kids' closets. I like did laundry today, and I was even a nice mom. I even like did their laundry for them. I usually don't put it away, but I was like, I was feeling momish. What does the bracelet look like? Did you have it on with cut? Yes, I had it on this morning. It's the sapphire and diamond one that my husband got me for my birthday. Lift up your turntable again. It's not here. It would have come off. I'm going to check the car. Um, you're going to be tempted to stick your fingers um, in here. Just wait till this dries. You can tell when it starts to get cloudy that they're dry. So now I'm going to take my liquid gold and watch the live video you made at the gas station. See, I don't think you saw my hands in that one. That's the only thing. I think it was just my face. Okay, so now I'm just taking some liquid gold. I'm going to take a small brush and I am simply going to paint those little thingamajiggers we just made using the glue little glue dots. It's going to look like, you know, those things. Yeah, my purse. I was reaching for stuff. All right, so I'm just taking this, taking a brush, and you just go around. Why does it have a wonky hair? You know, just, I don't want some long, grown-out hair on my brush. It messes with my, and I'm just going to paint these gold. So they're gonna look almost like, see, they're gonna look like rivets is what I was going for. And you'll never know that these were glue dots, y'all. You can make them as big or as small as you want. But how cute is that? Now, I don't know I have shipped stuff. I have made a ton of crafts with glue dots. They have stood the test of time. They have been shipped to hot places like Arizona, Florida, and they've held up in shipping. Oh my gosh, see how cute that is? That's what I was going for. I love it. So I'm just painting these little glue dots. Now see, that one got a little janky. This is going to be more of like a... That has a weird shape to it but you know anything about a pirate is not normal so I guess we're okay it depends on because the ribbon wasn't flat and this one's a little janky too but who cares I don't I mean should do don't sweat the small stuff peep from jeepers sick ones go oh my gosh right I threw my wedding ring away a few weeks ago true story um, you know, I'm buzzing around the kitchen doing nine million things at once and I was cleaning my rings and I threw them like and I, I picked up with a paper towel to dry it off and like it totally went out of my head and uh, yeah and I and then I was like, oh my wedding ring and Sam was like, mom, you just threw a bunch of stuff in the garbage can check lo and behold it was stuck inside that paper towel. Yep. Gotta pay attention there peeps. All right, so here's what we have. I think this looks so cute. There's really not a whole lot to do to it. However, 
Totally Dazzled has come out with some kick butt fall jewelry, not fall bling. And I'm going to show you some of it because we're going to add one right up here to the plain spot of his hat. These are the fall and Halloween packs. If you don't have one yet, go get them because these are going to go out of stock and they're not ordering more in. So once they're sold, they're sold. They come in gold. They come in rose gold. They come in silver. They come in antique bronze and the silver collection. So they come in all your favorite collections. And, um, but look at, there's a little sparkly black kitty cat. There's a big bat. This is the silver collection. A sparkle jeweled hand, a little spider, um, a, a blinged out skull, a big blingy spider, a pumpkin, another skull head, a little spider, another hand, uh, a little haunted house, and these. So, and it's like a little crescent moon full of gems. Oh, I ended up, Amanda, I put in the toolbox handles. I'll show you. I had one drop on the floor, so I knew it was over. I put these kind of handles on. So, you know, you pick it up. It's like a drawer pull. That's what I use. I just I just glued E6000. So, anyway, these are the fall packs. And like I said, they even... And the fall ones... Now, this is the bronze pack, and this one's a little different. Yes, Digital Kathy, you got to uh, go check it out. So the bronze pack comes with uh, a little leaf, um, a little apple, another little leaf, another couple little leaf designs, um, this cute little pumpkin one, um, another pumpkin, another apple, some really cute stuff. So go check it out because, and like I said, when they're gone, they're gone. They're not going to be restocking these. So. Um, anyhow, so you see how he's kind of plain Jane up here. I want to put something here. I don't know what it's going to be, but we're going to try a couple different things. And you guys can watch me on the Totally Dazzled page every Wednesday, every Wednesday at noon Eastern. I'm on there and they're giveaway, you know, they do giveaways. So there's a bat. I don't know. Maybe I think, you know what? I think we're going to have to use the gold. I'm digging the gold because I think it brings up the gold from here and kind of pulls in the gold from the little studs. Uh, Andrea, they're totally dazzled. Oh, a gold tooth, yes. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, so we're gonna do uh, gold on the jewel. I think that's gonna look better. I'm gonna give him a gold tooth right up front here. Too bad he doesn't have ears. I'd give him an earring. We could call this guy Captain Johnny. Yeah, I think gold is going to be better. See, as soon as I put the silver on there, I knew it. Now, I like the big, I think in a spider, a skull. Well, he's already a skull, so I don't want to overdo it. I'm thinking, now this is the antique bronze. Yeah, so this is the antique bronze. I'm thinking, I like the spider. I don't, I think the bat's too big um, and the skull's too small. I'm going with the spider, y'all. Now, I'm just going to use hot glue because this is staying in my house. See, and somebody asked about a sale earlier. I will not lie, folks. For the most part, I get rid of my stuff and sell it, but come Halloween through Christmas, I have a hard time letting it go because I love it. I love making it all and I and I I don't want to sell it um, now you can get creative and bling it up even more but that's the spark oh, look how cute that looks y'all seriously and that was this is easy what about the skeleton hand on the knife well, let's try it Nah, I don't like it. I think I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, I don't think we really need to do a whole lot to him. I liked it so much. That's why I said I'm going to make something with that, and I bought it. However, I think it looks better on this piece of wood than just plain hanging on a wall. 
um, kind of just looks like an old, you know, oh, I had some glue up here that I must not have realized wasn't actually on the wood. just want to wipe that off. But seriously, how easy. A $3 piece of wood from the Goodwill. Um, a red eye. Do I have red bling? I almost need like a big red gem. Wait a minute. I think I do have big bling. thing I have would be one of these. Now, I'm just going to keep it like it is. Might put a pearl in there would be cute, but diamond on the eye. I don't know if I have a small clear one. Like, you know, a pearl would be cute. Let's see if I could... do a pearl. I don't know if I, I like the idea of anything in there. Now, I'm going to attempt to bust out this totally dazzled piece in the middle right here. See? Yes, I cut apart my jewelry sometimes. If I want to. Okay. Yeah, look at how easy it came out. Now, if I do anything, it's going to be like a little pearl. I'm digging it. Okay, so I'll do that. I No. So I'm just going to, I don't want to burn myself, so I'm just going to drop a little bit of glue right down in there, like so. And then I'll show you guys. Now, now he's done. Oh, see, I like it. It kind of, it's just a cool effect. Um, anyhow, now you could have get, you know, if you wanted to give this more of a whimsical look, you know, it would be really cute. Like if Debbie Rigg was going to do this, the checking queen, do you know what she would have done? I bet you she would have, if you want to make it super whimsical, it might be an idea guys, is check out his hat. Would that not be so cute? to give him a little black and white checked hat. But see, that's where you could go with it. I didn't even think about it till just now, but that would have been super cute um, to check out the hat, but, or check out the eyepiece. So you could get really creative with these. And um, yeah, but look at, looks nothing. I know the glare sometimes is wonky, but see how we did that up close? Can I get that up close? So see, I just filled in all that ribbon and then just made it like strapping and just, there we go. So it all kind of ties together. A tiny diamond in his tooth. I will see, I have my totally dazzled bling kit over here. Um, but it's seriously five o'clock. Check his patch. I mean, you could go get these at Hobby Lobby, y'all. They're like well, they were 50% off last week. It's wall decor. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you don't have to do the checks. I'm just saying you could. Or you could, like, put decoupage queen paper up here or digital deco designs uh, paper up here. Or you could add some spider webs. Um, what about gold on the edge of his hat? Yeah, it's kind of like a white right now. All right, let's do it. I do like that. I do like that. See how we just keep going? Because you're right. It's not really silver, and it's not really gold. Everything else on this pirate has a bit of a metallic sheen to it. But you know what? What the heck? Did I? Oh, my gosh. I'm losing it. All right. I'm into dra Oh, my girl. One of my best girlfriends, like, loves everything and anything to do with dragons. All right, let's just. This will take us, like, literally a minute. Well, not with that brush. Um, there we go. That's a good one. All right, real quick, y'all. He 
You ain't gotta be perfect. That was a quick little storm, wasn't it? It's all done. Unless that was just the beginning of it. Oh yes, this looks fantastic. Yeah, you could do so much stuff. You can change out the color. You can make this a, a pink pirate if you wanted it to. I mean, you could really get creative. This weather today has been so weird. I When I was doing my story while well, I was pumping gas, it was raining. And then like five minutes later, literally five, a minute later, the sun was shining. Oh, I love this gold. Yeah, so this paint was more like white paint right around here. If it would have been like the metallic -y silver, like what's on the, uh, over here, um, I would have probably kept it. But you're right. Good eye, peeps. Whoever said that. All right, so I'm just trying to get as close as I can without making it look sloppy. And it's really pretty much only the top over here. I'm not trying to get too technical with it. Okay, there we go. Now I'm done. Oh, go what? Go tell Tracy I said hi. Scrappy's rustics. All right, we're done anyway, sisters. There we go. I did that right around his hat. I did the gold. That looks so much better. Sets everything off. He's got his gold tooth. So seriously, guys, when you go to the Goodwill and you check out these little pieces of wood, pick them up and make something fun with it. I will do a story if I find my bracelet, y'all. I promise. I will let you know. If not, keep praying for me because I will really hate that. Um, and I'm going to go and post a picture of yesterday's craft um, on the page and just uh, later on tonight. I'm going to let this dry before I uh, take a picture of it. I'm going to go find my bracelet. I am. I'm going to be positive. I know I'm going to find my bracelet. I'm going to go find my bracelet. Where the mind goes, the man will follow. And I am in God's favor, so he's going to find my, uh, he's going to, I'm going to find my bracelet. I'm putting good juju out in the universe. All right, everybody, it was fun. I'm so glad that I got to come on here with you. Um, uh, I'll, guys, it's such a crazy, crazy week. I'm hoping to be on tomorrow. I'll let Brittany know when she does the morning post, uh, if I can come on. I've got a meeting at 2, um, and I don't know what else is going on. I know I'm in my private group tomorrow at 3, so if maybe I come on, it'll be in the evening or even earlier, like around noon. I don't know yet. I'm so sorry. Um, and I will. I'll do a story when I find my bracelet. So you guys are awesome. Have a great evening. Stay sparkly, everyone, and happy Monday. Bye.